familia y estudios, bienvenidos a Casa Deportes y bienvenidos al episodio número 9 con el LDBA 2K16, la agencia libre de Karim Jackson. Estos son los equipos interesados en los servicios del armador ex Utah Jazz al parecer y el Utah Jazz es el mayor interesado en volver a contratarnos aún después de todos los problemas. Pero al final de cuentas, estos fueron los tres equipos que decidí tomar. San Antonio Spurs, Chicago Bulls y New Orleans Pelicans. Todos y cada uno de ellos me ofrecían pocos minutos y ya lo verán más adelante. Es el que más nos ofrecía eran los Pelicans porque... Yo decidí ir por estos equipos de casi casi hasta abajo en la lista en lugar del Utah Jazz que ya sabemos que estuvimos ahí, ellos nos draftearon los Sixers, Nets y Knicks, que Nets y Knicks es más por la historia de que eres un jugador de Harlem, que pero de verdad yo pensaba que en, estos en estas plantillas no necesitan un armador, posiblemente los Sixers sí necesitarían uno, pero Tony Roden creo que está muy bien con ellos. Pero en cambio a los otros eh, equipos que tomé, tiene a Derrick Rose, obviamente uno de ellos. A Tony Parker, aquí vamos las plantillas de cada uno de ellos Que él sería prácticamente nuestro mentor Pero le tendríamos que quitar el puesto a, O ganar el puesto a jugadores como Jimmy Fredette, Patty Mills y Ray McCallum Tienen cuatro armadores Pero claro que sería fenomenal, fenomenal Jugar bajo el sistema de Greg Popovich Jugar al lado de Manu Ginobili Tony Parker, eh, Tony Parker como ya lo mencionaba este Tim Duncan era el otro que decía, quería decir Kawhi Leonard, Lamar, Lamarcus Aldridge David West Tiene una plantilla fenomenal Ahora, si nos vamos a hablar de los otros equipos, hablemos de los Chicago Bulls que nos ofrecen un poco más dinero por los mismos minutos. Tienen obviamente a Derrick Rose, que sería aprender y crecer junto a Derrick Rose, a Aaron Brooks como su segundo armador. Pero vean, ojo, su contrato 0 años, 0 dólares, ya no tiene nada de contrato con los Bulls. También tienen a Kirk Heinrich, Etwan Moore y otros jugadores interesantes obviamente como Jimmy Butler, Joaquim Noah, Pau Gasol... Y ya les tuvieron la historia de los Chicago Bulls Es posiblemente una de las más grandes en toda la NBA Tuvieron al más grande toda la historia de la NBA para empezar Y ya les tuvieron, no habría mucho que construir en esta historia Más que intentar portar el estandarte de los Bulls Ahora, si hablamos de los Pelicans, una franquicia entre comillas nueva Que no tiene armador, tiene a Drew Holiday que no es el mejor armador de la liga Y Norris Cole también se le acabó su contrato Eric Gordon, Tyreek Evans, Dandy Cunningham, Douglas Roberts, Luke Babbitt, Quincy Point Dexter, Alonso G Pero sobre todo y más importante, una de las estrellas de la portada Anthony Davis, The Brow y Karim Jackson para construir la historia, la franquicia de los New Orleans Pelicans ¿A qué equipo irá? Y vean que los Spurs al final de cuentas rechazaron a Karim Jackson, a los Bulls, a seguir la historia, a portar el estandarte, seguir los pasos de Michael Jordan, a jugar junto a Terry Gross, Joaquim Noah, Pau Gasol o los Pelicans, Anthony Davis, Drew Holiday. Construir la historia de una nueva franquicia, convertirse en el mejor jugador de la historia de la NBA, de la NBA en un equipo relativamente nuevo. ¿Quién será el nuevo equipo de Karim Jackson? Very different from what I imagined. Though I wouldn't change a thing about this period and the time I spent in the NBA, I can honestly say that nothing has been more gratifying and more difficult than choosing where to play next year. I sought the wise counsel of my loved ones. Nothing puts me at ease more than knowing that regardless of my decision, you guys will be there for me no matter what. Now, there are so many wonderful teams in the league, each field with stellar talent and all vying to be number one. For me, there's nothing more important than winning and surrounding myself with those who feel just as passionately about the game as I do and have an unrelenting desire to win a championship ring. That's what matters most to me. It is for this reason, above all, I've decided to choose the New Orleans Pelicans. Yeah! Wow! Good choice! Yes, baby. Yeah! 
talent they have on that team. They go win the championship this year. You think so? <laughs> you know what that means. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I love it. I know. Hey, hey, hey. Yo, fool, where you been? I've been trying to call you. Mr. Freak. Yo, who's this? This is Officer Vasquez with the 9th Precinct. Officer Vasquez? What did Vic do now? Mr. Freak, there's been an accident. Look, we're gonna need you to come down to the following address as soon as possible. What kind of accident? Put Vic on the phone. I can't do that, sir. No, 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 you're not hearing me. I want to talk to Vic. Look, sir, we need you to calm down as soon as you can. No, 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 hey, hey, What's listen, listen, on? listen, listen, oh, listen. Vic. Put down the phone, and I don't want to hear it get picked up until Victor Van Leer is on the give phone. Me the phone. Put Vic on the phone. Mr. Freak, Mr. Van Leer was killed in a car accident. What's going on? Give me the phone. The car he no. was driving was registered to you. We were able no. to identify him from the listen flyers to me. in the session. Freak, I don't want to talk to you no more. Freak, give me the phone. <sighs> hi, excuse me, hi, yes. This is Cece. This is Freak's manager. Who am I speaking with? Hi, yes, look, we're gonna need somebody to come down and identify Mr. Van Leer. Uh, eyewitnesses say that he was involved in a car chase. Two cars were chasing him, and as the chase escalated, he eventually lost control and crashed. Look, I'm, I'm really sorry for your loss. Hello. Outside of the deceased, was anybody else injured? Vic died in a car accident. What? Yeah, they said he was in a car chase. They said, no. Freak, I'm sorry. To... He died. Oh, man. I'm so, I'm so sorry, Freak. Freak, I am so sorry. <laughs> So I started here. Yep, right here in the dome. Yeah, and I was all about living the dream. Yeah. I know it'd be some nightmares. As Daddy always says, all that glitters ain't gold. Yeah, I'm gonna miss my brother Vic, though. Deep down, he was a good person at heart, but he was never quite right. Something was always off with him, yeah. even when we were little growing up. Yeah, I know, I know, but I loved him anyway. I knew he was trying to take advantage of our friendship, but I didn't care. We were boys, ride or die, you know that? Ride or die. Just hope Vic finally found peace and death that he never found in life. Well, may he rest in power. <laughs> when you really sit down and think about it, life is but the length of, blink of an eye, and that's for so sure quick. We spend a third sleeping in bed, a third trying to figure this thing called life out. <laughs> Yo, by the time we think you got it all figured out, you only got a third of your life left. Yeah, life's a trip. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Life's a trip. Ten times ten. Well, honey. <laughs> hey, yo, shout out to my man, Vic. <laughs> shout out to Vic. <laughs> Come on, let's bounce. All right. Yeah, I'm about to wake up the project like I used you to. Better remember? not. <laughs> you better not. We ain't kids no more. CC? CC. Hey! Why are you sneaking up on us? Hey, we thought you two left town yesterday after the funeral. Mm -hmm. We decided to stay one more day. Oh, I'm so glad you did. I wish we had known you were coming. We would have made you something to eat. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> what y'all doing? Yeah, hey, chatting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, talking about yesterday's service. Oh, okay. How you holding up, son? You know what? I'm okay, pops. But you know what? We love you two so much. And it's only now that I'm realizing how much you two sacrificed for Cece and myself. Hey, did you know Vic didn't really get to know his father growing up? And we were lucky to grow up in a household with two loving parents. Uh, and you know what's sad to say? Like, people thought we had a highly unusual home in a project. Yeah, folks always talk about the negative effects of boys with no father in a home, but it affects girls too. And it's helped me in my relationships with men in my life. What men? Anywho, I know that all men are not dogs because I had a great father in the home. You, Daddy? I was there, too. He didn't do it alone now. <laughs> yes, Mama, of course. It <laughs> goes without saying. Thank you, daughter. I did what my father did, and his father, and his father before that. A man 
A real man will always be involved in his children's lives. I love your mother. We had our ups and downs, but I love her more than life itself. You two are a direct result of that true love. Yeah, we know that. Switching subjects. Yeah. I know the both of you like I know the back of my hand. You said you were leaving after the service. Why are you here out of the blue? Yeah, oh. what's up? Why gotta be all that? Yeah, we can't stop by and show our love and appreciation for right. our loving parents. I'm highly offended. I am appalled. Uh, what's happening? Yeah, come clean. <sighs> okay, okay. Me and Cece just want to give you a little present. Yeah, a small token, a small repayment for everything you've done for yeah, us. Yeah, all the sacrifices you've made. And we want nothing in return but your love mm -hmm. and grandchildren. Uh, but get married first. <laughs> yeah, save your money. But, Daddy, we really just... But, Daddy, nothing. You heard your father. Well, maybe, maybe one, one day. day. <laughs> maybe. But one day is not today. Nope. <laughs> okay. Well, for real, for real, we do have an actual flight to catch tonight. For real, this time. Yes, yes, okay. for real, this time. <laughs> well, it's so, good to see you again. Oh, uh, uh, yes. Love you, too. Hey, y'all call us when you get there, okay? Well, we as soon as you yeah, land. Love love you. Okay, mama. All right. Yeah, y'all okay, call mama. us as soon as you get back. All right, as soon as you land. All right, yes, promise, promise, promise. Take care of your brother. Of course, always. I got this. Don't trust. <laughs> wow. Hey, did you forget something? Uh, no, can you do me a favor and head to the sofa? The sofa? Well, what's at the sofa? Just look behind the cushion. Behind the cushion? Uh, Pete, come here. What they want now? What's in the envelope? Just look inside, Mama. Pete, you open it. Hey, Frequency, what's this? Does it look like it opens doors? Keys to a house? Uh-huh. A new home? Uh-huh. Son, now I didn't told you and your sister a million times. Me and your mother mm -hmm. are very comfortable yes, right where we are. Yes, absolutely right. This now. is Harlem, USA. Project or no project, this is our apartment. This is the home we made for you to raise you up right in. We're not moving like everybody mm -hmm. else. Let me talk. Tell to him something. Some. Frequency, we both appreciate it very much. I mean, we, we're very uh, grateful. Uh, okay, honey, can, look, there's something else in the envelope. P, he says look inside the envelope. What? Well, look inside. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey. Montego Bay, Jamaica. <gasps> Baby, pack your bags. We are living the dream. <laughs> oh. Thank y'all. Love you. All right. Love you guys. Love you. Dear Freak, <laughs> by the time you read this letter, I'll be long gone. I wrote this letter because it's the only way I think my voice will ever be heard. This piece of yellow paper it's the only way I'll ever get any of you to stop, listen, and really get to know me, Victor Van Leer. My childhood was turbulent, but even in the most unsettling times, there was a break in the tide. My father was the rocky water, and my mom's was the gentle surf. Pops did a lot of foolish stuff, but when he wasn't trashed and was actually taking the time to be a father, he'd say, Vic, you got one life, a fragile life. God can take this life whenever he sees fit. So live and live plentifully. Each day God gives, live it in abundance. My pops was a smart dude, the most dangerous kind, educated and street smart. And this apple didn't fall too far from the tree. My mom's, yo, she was an angel. No matter how heavy the hand, she would do anything for me. And by chance, when I was casted into that darkness, she was the voice I followed back to the light. I was so young, too young. But my decaying flesh carries the scars and memories that won't fade. She's the reason I'm as loving as I was. She taught me to look at others as human beings and not objects. Now, where there's pain, a simple kiss, hug, or I love you could disperse that rainy day. That's why I'll, that's why I'll never understand why. Why? Why she, of all people, was taken from me. 
the only one good thing I ever had in my life. And that was my mother. You ever feel lonely? Well, I didn't have any siblings. And no one would claim me as their own. It is the first time in my life I even... I question the point of living at all. If it wasn't for your family taking me in, I swear I was going to open my wrist or jump in front of the A train. But I found love. And I found it through my new family. Mr. P, man, he was the complete opposite of who my dad was. He was foreign to me. He was a good, honorable man, and to be honest, he intimidated me. I didn't believe I could ever be the man he tried teaching me to be. Miss Martha, damn. <laughs> Real talk, I was in love with that woman. Freak, if you're reading this right now, I'm sorry. I never met one hottie that came close to her. Mr. Peter's a lucky dude, but unlike my dad, he could recognize the angel in his presence. Aside from my own mom, she's the only other person I truly think understood me. I just wanted to be loved, yo. I just wanted to belong. CC, man, I've seen her make the hardest dudes break at the wrist. I've seen her turn coal into diamonds and then back into coal again, just by doing this intense stare she do. CC is no joke. I love her, though. We used to be close. And again, I'm sorry, freak, but when your sister get all mad and on one, damn, I just... Whew. CC, I love you more than you will ever know. I hope in my time past you can finally forgive me. Yvette is beautiful. A woman about success, work ethic, and never settling for less. Which, that's why I didn't stand a chance. Freak was king, and me, a big, fat zero. She was cool, though. Chill. And when she wasn't being all uptight, that girl was mad funny. I could see why you fell in love with her. She could make any man better. She was exactly what I wanted, and definitely what you needed. Frequency vibrations, my boy, my blood. I'm sorry I couldn't be as great as you. I'm sorry I was your weight and not your pedestal. I wanted to be a lot of things. I thought I was the next prodigy. Then you hit that court, and I knew. It was it. It was you, freak. It was you. I didn't have much of a life, at least not one I could be proud of. I never said this to you, but I wanted to be you. All I wanted was a taste, just a little taste of everything I never had. Can you blame me? Like my dad said, Life is short, and I just wanted to live it abundantly. I know it hurts, but your life would be better without me. There's nothing holding you down anymore, freak. I believe in you. And I always look out for you from above, B. Hey, bring that Jesus piece back for your boy, though. You know, that shuttle's work. I love you, freak. At least I did something right. At the end, I felt as though I had no place here anymore. I never felt as though I belonged. Maybe, maybe my greatness is in the heaven. Or maybe, just maybe, my greatness is you, freak. 
I just hope you and the fam remember me as I remember my mom. Look at people like human beings, not objects. Because if you wait, it's often too late. So just say you love them now, man. Be the voice they can follow out of darkness. Be to them what my mother was to me. An angel. Your boy, resting in power. Welcome wow. to your second In NBA season. Increíble, la lección es que ustedes están viendo de fondo lo que va a ser la segunda temporada ya con muchos más partidos. Se terminó la historia de Living the Dream y tengo que ser completamente honesto y espero que ustedes también lo sepan en la sección de comentarios y pueden ver lo fenomenal que es este modo carrera. Esto fue apenas la primera temporada con toda la historia, pero vean todo lo que vamos a hacer y todas las posibilidades de historias que les voy a presentar en esta serie que les digo que es una de las grandes apuestas del canal. Pero de verdad, yo que lloré, lloré con este final, no me esperaba algo así, estaba hablando con un amigo inclusive por la charla y tuve que apagar el micrófono porque de verdad lloré, fue muy fuerte este final, sobre todo el discurso de Vic Van Leer, porque lo demás siento que sí fue un poco, eh, pues ya lo habíamos visto en otras películas, vamos a decirle como repetitivo, eh, cheesy, un poco meloso, pero lo que dice Vic Van Leer es algo increíble y que de verdad me sacó lágrimas y más por su historia y todo lo que significaba para la vida de Karim Jackson. Pero pues eso fue Toño por Living the Dream. Y a partir del episodio 10 comienza la segunda temporada. Y lo que es la historia de Case Deportes con Karim Jackson. Obviamente va a haber destellos de la historia de Living the Dream. Seguramente seguirán saliendo algunas que otras animaciones. Los New Orleans Pelicans son el nuevo equipo de Karim Jackson. Espero que les guste esta decisión. La tomé sobre todo porque como decía en los Bulls. Derrick Rose es el futuro prácticamente, obviamente si las lesiones se lo permiten, él seguirá siendo uno de los mejores jugadores de la liga, algo que no sabe el NBA 2K obviamente y no lo va a estar lesionando todo el tiempo y de cualquier cosa y tienen a jugadores bastante interesantes donde yo no sería la figura, yo no sería la figura sobre Derrick Rose, ni sobre Joaquim Noah, ni sobre Pau Gasol, ni sobre Jimmy Butler, pero yo puedo ser una figura al lado de Anthony Davis y construir esta franquicia de los New Orleans Pelicans, que me gusta bastante, tiene una interesante afición, la ciudad es hermosa, que son de verdad apasionados al deporte y creo que fue la mejor decisión que pudimos haber tomado los New Orleans Pelicans a partir del episodio número 10, Karim Jackson, intentaremos ser el mejor jugador en la historia de la NBA, eso es Toño por este video, muchas gracias, ya saben qué hacer si les gustó, los likes siempre son bien recibidos y los comentarios intentan ser contestados, no olviden seguirme en mis redes sociales, en Twitter y en Facebook para estar enterados de toda la actividad del canal y poder contactarme de forma más directa, no olviden comer frutas y verduras y ahí nos olemos.